You ready? Yeah. G'day guys, I'm Aaron from Melbourne Muscular Therapies. And I'm Ninja. And welcome to this epic four part series that you're about to witness. We're so glad that we can bring it to you because basically what you're gonna get is a fly on the wall experience, an inner sanctum look into our onboarding training. So we really wanna give people an experience, our whole training sessions. They embody it, they feel it, they experience it. So yeah. They get taken out of their comfort zone too, you know? They're with strangers, they're with us that we they don't really know. And we just wanna shake off all that nervous energy and like you said, give them something that they're never gonna forget. This particular occasion, we wanted to take people down to the, the quarry. Yeah. Where there's this lake and nice hill out in nature. Just notice how we're feeling. So now we'll go through the, the body scan and just maybe massage the forehead. We took them to this beautiful patch of grass and um, we did some bioenergetics. And down the arm. It's derived from Wilhelm Reich and Alexander Lowen took that work on even further. But basically what it is, is shaking up your biology. So moving around, getting things going, and yeah, it can shake up some emotional stuff as well. So the stress that you're holding in your body, you're gonna move into it and kind of start to, you know, get awareness of your body, how it's feeling, how you're feeling. Ta pay attention to your breath. Just pay attention how the body's moving. And there was a lot of a nervous energy. When these guys are there imparting on something new, they're not sure what's gonna happen. Sometimes they can be a bit, you know, in their brain. So it's good to get into the body and shake it up. After we did this exercise, it was so good. Everyone was laughing, all that nervous tension was gone. <laughs> this is Shan's favorite. <laughs> really good, gets you present when you do the bioenergetics. Yeah. You're just concentrating on what you're actually doing now. Concentrating on your senses, what you're seeing, what you're feeling, That's things it. like that, and then, you, then you're there. So it was a great way to lead into this, this first day. What this one is, it's warrior. So it's all about focus. Um, so what we want to do, so it's, might seem a little bit funny, but we want to concentrate and be serious about this little bit here. So all we're going to do is go up on our toes and then let our heel slam. And when you, your heel slam, you let out a ho, ho. So let's all try and get this going together. Ho, 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 ho. The next really key important exercise we did that day was one to build trust. So we did some blindfold walking. They need to put the trust in us that we're gonna take them on the right path and impart the right knowledge onto them. So it was important to take them through a process where they were able to let go. And they each had a practitioner handy with them and we just led them through the park. That's it, good. Tune into how you're landing on your foot. Other senses had to heighten and they had to really trust the person, all in bare feet. So the different surfaces, they could feel the textures, they could feel the, the temperatures. Got them to hold different objects in their hands like leaves and trees and rocks. Also just voice cues. So they got the, the feeling of when they were separated and just had voice. And it was a different kind of trust element there, different kind of surrendering you know, that they weren't going to just walk into something and be in danger. Mm. So let's go a little bit. Yep, coming yep, yep. forward. Yep. See if I can undo this knot. I might be blindfolded the rest of the It was really cool to hear the feedback from our practitioners saying that um, it was hard initially, but after a while they were able to just surrender and enjoy the experience. Once you sort of relax and let go, you could really take, uh, you feel the ground a bit more, you know, um, and yeah, just take everything in. Felt easy to let go into it and felt like I could actually start to straighten up and stride better. But I think it was also the transition from like letting me go by myself, him not letting me get off the cliff and then like getting his hand back and it's like full trust was there. Kind of lost balance at the start, but I let nature kind of guide me. Good little demonstration there of what it's like for their customer to be on the table. 
as a practitioner, you're, over, you're sometimes a blank canvas where you've just got to let people unload and you've just got to be a set of ears, okay? And you've also got to have an amazing touch. So taking away the visual was um, an awesome way that they could tap into those two senses. Optimal growth happens or occurs on the border of challenge and support. So I think you can all vouch for the fact that that exercise, although it was challenging, you probably felt support at the same time as well. So this whole eight weeks and then your whole career into MMT, we live by that. You know, you're challenged, we push you, we make you grow, we, we really challenge your, your, your weak spots, but we're always there for support as well. So we want you to know that we're here to guide you, we're here to, we're here to teach you, we're here to educate you, and we're here to make you better, okay? And, and with that exercise too, um, it kind of goes both ways. Like imagine a, a treatment, you're guiding someone through a treatment, you have to teach them, you have to guide them, you have to nurture them. But also the person on the table, to get the effective results that we're gonna be able to teach you, they have to let go too. So it's also important to experience the receiving end of the treatment or being on the receiving end of what we just did then, just being able to let go and allow someone to, to come in. Because most time when you're treating someone with chronic pain, the pain is so deep seated within the body that that person's not actually gonna get an effective treatment unless they trust you and allow you in to that spot, okay? So that connection and the trust is so important when you're on this journey with MMT because that's what gets you results, okay? So it's important to learn both ends of the spectrum of that exercise that we just did then, okay? So, but always remember that optimal growth occurs on the border of challenge and support right in the middle. So the next part was, what was the most epic part of this, of this first day was going down to the actual quarry. So we walked down this hill and we got to the body of water and the sun was still shining and I think by that point they knew what they were in for. So we're going to link arms and we're all going to walk into the water together, okay? So there's real symbolic stuff with this, so like every journey starts with one step, you know, and that's all you can do is one step at a time. Together we're going to go through different sensations, different emotions, okay? So it's going to, it might be cold, it might be some wind, there might be some trepidation, but just feel it, okay? You, you're not gonna die, you're not gonna get hurt, you know, so you, you're gonna get through it, but it's, it might be uncomfortable. And that's the nature of learning, that's the main nature of growth, you know, but you've got support of a, a whole chain of people. So if anyone doesn't go, no one goes, type of thing. So that's the symbolic nature of it. We linked arms, so we were all united, united on the same journey. doing something that was hard together. So it was cold water. We had to kind of fight the elements. A metaphor for diving into something new. Well, there was a lot of symbolism involved, okay? That we were connected, we were together. You know, everyone was a part of the journey. A link in the chain, you know? We're strong when we're together. like to make people feel welcome, give them a nice nourishing cacao drink and make them feel part of the family by putting on our colours a nice purple t-shirt. This particular day of training is where you learn the most key and fundamental thing. So the stuff that we're about to go and do with Ninja um, is stuff that he's been teaching for what, over 10 years, haven't you? Probably more, 15 more, years maybe? 15, yeah. yeah. And this is the key core principles of how we treat. So in the first lesson, what we do, we give people a practical experience, a metaphor they can transfer across into when they're treating the human body. Walk around and just observe things. So visually for a start and just see what you can, you know, what you can find out, what you can see. And just um, you have a look for a start. So just move no around. Clues. No, we're not gonna say anything for a couple of minutes. I just want you to walk around, and just have a look around this space.
And this is something that I went through as a practitioner too. These two principles that we get taught now are what set us apart from other practitioners. This is what helps us to be effective massage practitioners and be able to fix things that no one else can. Stuff that Ninja downloaded 15 to 20 years ago that he's imparted on us. And it's, it's profound, it's, it's priceless stuff. These methods and principles that we teach in very practical ways are the most important part of the whole training block, aren't they, Ninja? This is our secret way that we get the, our message across and we want people to remember this stuff forever. As hard as you can, like do a... Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wood is nice. So when you said gradually go into it really softly, and what we want to do is um, replicate what we learn out in the alleyway as well. We want when these methods ingrain, it just creates a, a whole new level of thoroughness to your treatments. And that thoroughness is what sets us apart and is able to get into people's pain that has been there chronically for 10 to 15 years. Maybe you can try and go fast, Zach. Uh, one and go fast, see, yeah, see what happens. Work. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Just try and grab some and just squeeze it and then just sort of you know, let it go in your hand. Under light touch, it melts, but under hard impulse force, it goes hard. It's a thorough understanding of these principles that teaches you where to explore, how to navigate, how to draw it out of people, how to melt things down. Everyone has their own pace, so some people might take longer if you sit on them for a while before things start to melt. These principles will teach you how to identify the main blocks in the body and also how to connect with those blocks to ensure that they're gone. We kind of hit it, it kind of exploded and it went out. When we tried to pull out fast as well, it kind of all um, fragmented and you know it was gunky. When we went slow, it, there wasn't the damage. The students won't understand the massage that we teach them and all these key points all over the body unless they understand these key principles. This secret stuff that Ninja's been teaching for close to 20 years is the key part about becoming an effective massage practitioner. So the first day experience really sets you up to go on with the training, okay? So from the principles and the methods they've learned, from the connection with us, where we're together. It's just really special. So we wanted to make sure that first experience, they did feel really special and welcome, okay? So we just wanted to match the onboarding program with how amazing it is to actually be a staff member at this awesome place.